Mabo. Refall. I have a question for you. What? Did I do that? I love your shirt, bro. Thanks, man. Did I do that? I just, I just got this one. I, I like it. Nice. It's a cool one. Hey, Gabo, we got another question today, sir. Go ahead. Shoot. Here it is. The question at hand today is this. From Timothy, just straight up Timothy, says, how about games you couldn't get into at first, but eventually ended up loving them? And for him, he says it was Kingdom of Hearts, uh, Gears 5, and Halo 4. Gabo, would you like to start this one? No, you can go first. I need to think a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go not necessarily games I couldn't get to, like game specific. I'm going to go genre that I couldn't get into a long time ago, and I ended up loving it. I'm going to just kind of have some gameplay playing in the back to keep it going. Um, so back in the day, you know, I liked games like 1942, 1943. I liked Raiden. I liked Gunnack. I liked Tiger Heli. But I don't think I really enjoyed, per se, shmups. I would play them, but almost just like a time killer. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm bored. I'll just fiddle with some buttons, whatever. Yeah, you know, it's like I'm 20, 20 minutes away from fall asleep. Let's play this. And what happened is I started playing a specific game on the PlayStation 4, for those of those who think right there, Jamestown. And this game got me very, very, very into shmups. And actually, after I ended up playing this game, loving the game, one of the best, I'll say right now, the best shmup I've ever played, um, I went back and played all the other shmups, you know, from back in the day. And I feel like I enjoyed them more. I feel like I got a better handle on shmups and what they are and kind of understood, like, what their gameplay is doing and you know some of them have story and um but back in the day i would say shmups was definitely just like there for me you know it wasn't something i enjoyed but ikaruga i think is how you pronounce it i got to love those uh a lot of the side scrolling i feel like i liked the you side squadron you always uh we always talk about that game when squadron is a great game yeah i, I think i always liked the side scrolling shmups more but yeah. never like the top-down shmups until Jamestown kind of got Do me you into remember the, the game that I gave you for the Switch, I think it was? Sign more. I beat that game. Amazing game. Yeah, I beat that game um, actually on the way. Well, no, I didn't beat it on the way, but I really started playing it when I was on my way to Seattle to hang out with Metal Jesus and stay at his house for a few nights. Master. 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 Yeah, and that's uh, what I think that weekend was a, a good week for me to get into Sign More. I enjoyed it. That was after Jamestown as well. So I definitely was already like deep into, you know, shmups. Yeah. So, but you got something? Yeah, uh, I will say uh, the latest. Yeah, I got a good example a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Um, I never been into JRPE. Okay. Uh, for me, I, in my life, I play and I finish a couple. Not the, if I, it is five. Okay. That's too much. But the latest one, and I get really, really into it, and I play until I finish. It was the South Park one, the first one. The stick really? Of, yeah. And the fighting in that game is like JRPG by turns. Got it. And yeah, uh, that game is really awesome, dude. Yeah. That game was a 10 out of 10 for me. Never really? Played Never played. And I uh, really like it. I also, uh, the other day, I bought the second one. I need to play it after I finished the last of Is that the Stick of Truth or was that the first one? The first one is the Stick of Truth. What's the second one called? Uh, oh, the Fractured Butt Hole? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think it's different. The, the, the fighting in the second one is different. Yeah. But I'm curious. I watched Mikey play a decent amount of the second one. He would play it back in the day. Yeah, he, he always told me that's a real, real good one. Yeah. But yeah, I was amazed, man. I, I how much I really like it playing and enjoying playing that kind of it's different as the common JRPG games. Yeah. But the roots are the same, you know. It's yeah. turn base. Turn yeah. Base. So, yeah. I think that happened for me too. And I, I saw that the guy Timothy said that about, uh, he put Halo 4. 
Uh, but for me, I don't think I liked uh, the original Halo as much as a lot of people did. Um, really? I think I was playing a lot of, I'd say, how would I put it? More fast, oh. more tactical style first person shooters before I played that game. You know, like, like, the, Call, like, like the Call of Duties, the Battlefields, oh. you know. And when I played Halo the first time, it felt, at the time, it felt more a little more slow. The weapons felt a little less like, I don't know, my aiming felt like just like slower. It was just, I don't know, for me, you know what I mean? But back in the days, I think there was no Call of Duty. Yeah, but I wasn't playing it when it first oh, came out. So you, I didn't. Oh, you, oh, that's what happened. Yeah. If you play it after you play Call of Duty. Yep. That's what happened. Yeah. Exactly. So I didn't like it that much, but the longer I played it, and you know, would pop in at a friend's house, like, oh, we should play it online, blah, blah, blah. It became a fun thing for me. And I eventually ended up liking the Halo series because there was a while where, you know, people would do videos like overrated series and over, and I used to say Halo. I was like, ah, I think it's pretty overrated, but I've, I've grown to like it more. For me, the, the favorite one is the first one. The original Halo. Yeah. I... Were you playing that online? Uh... I don't know why I never liked playing Halo online so much. The Got day. it. I don't know. Probably it's because it, you have to to hit uh, the other guy too many times to kill it. Yeah. Like. Yeah. It's not like Call of Duty that sometimes with one shot you just can kill it. Yeah. Or Gears of War. Yeah. But yeah. Is there any specific genre that you can think of or a game that? you have tried to like more than once and you still don't like it kind of like another part to this question yeah RPG. you still don't like them no i don't see myself playing uh final fantasy old school final Fantasy. but you like the, the south park game yeah i like it and that that's what i'm saying yeah um i'm i'm amazed how how much i like it even to make me buy the second one I get what you're saying. So you still so, don't necessarily like JRPGs, no, but you do like no, the South Park. Like game. I say, I don't see myself going and playing, uh, you know, sit down and play uh, Final Fan OG Final Fantasy. Got it. I would like to play the new one, the remake one, because Got I, think it. I read or I hear people talking that the fighting is yeah. different, yeah. more action. Yeah. See that I, like that, I can play it. It's funny for me, like when I played uh, Super Mario Rabbids, when we've talked about this before, you know, I liked it and I was like, hey, this got me into strategy games. This is going to be awesome. But I have to admit, I tried some other strategy games after and I was like, Ugh, I don't really like these. <laughs> you, know? you know what? I really like strategic games. You do? Okay. So I think there's a wasteland. They're really good. Got it. I admit that I also don't like, and a lot of people, I, I don't really like stealthy games. Mm, in, me too. In some cases, like I can, I can be happy with Metal Gear, Metal Gear. Yeah. But that's why I never played the OG. Um, oh, I forgot the names. Jeez. Well, while you think, oh, yeah. Metal Gear for me, I've struggled to like it and I get it that a lot of people love it and I'm sure they they love it and that's that's warranted. Or They're like the Sam Fisher. Sam Fisher? Sam and Max? No, Sam Fisher. Oh, I don't know, bro. I can't uh, think on the spot. I, I'm not about one of those games the other day. Oh, Splinter Cell. Yeah. So the OG, I didn't like it because it was too many stealth. But I remember the ones on the 360, it was more action. I love those ones. I, it's, I used to love all the Call of Duty campaigns, which I still do. But I remember I'd get really bummed out on like the sniper levels where you have to like crawl really? for like an hour. I'm like, I don't, I, I just want to shoot something, you know? You just don't have patience. I don't have patience, no. I think sometimes I like that. But Call of Duty campaigns, I love it, man. That's why I, I have every Call of Duty I, I love Call of Duty. I will firmly admit I love Call of Duty games. Yeah, I have more more fun playing the campaigns that you know than multiplayer. Yeah, I love the the, the, the oh, not not in Warzone because Warzone is uncooked. Yeah, you you do love Warzone. You guys yeah. love Warzone. Um, 
But yeah, basically, let's leave it at that for the audience. Basically, hey, so what are some games you might not have liked at first or genres that you didn't like at first, but you found yeah. yourself enjoying them? I'd be curious to know uh, what the audience says. Like, for example, uh, you guys doesn't like uh, Mikey first and now you love it. We Who, who the audience? Yeah. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> Mikey's going to kill me. <laughs> yeah. No, everybody's no, always like Mikey. Mikey. Mikey's too nice. Mikey is the greatest. Mikey is a very nice guy. He's a lot nicer than we are, Gabo. Let's just be real. Yeah, Mikey is like, uh, like Yogi. Yogi, Yogi, Yogi Bear? Bear? Like Yogi Bear? Like, oh, I like that. Like <laughs> well, well let, let's yeah. just leave it with this. If you want to know who's the people that are nice, let's just say Mikey. that me Mikey. and Gabo got banned from Rocket League. All right, that's all we're going to say. We're not going to give anyone any reason to re what, let them know what happened. All right, everybody. Have a good night. That's it. <laughs> yeah.